Go. See it? So I'm going back to my first uh, statement. When you come through, you're not in stance. You're higher than you're supposed to be. And your balance points are showing it because you're not able to get your stick across that. You got to put your butt down. You got to be a little bit more disciplined in your base stance, your transition stance, your movement stance. Not your slides. Your slides only screwed up because you're bringing your hands back, but that might be because your stance on that stuff. You're bringing yourself on your heel as opposed to flat blade. But I'm telling you, as you move, I feel like you're too hot. You can, bend, you can stay down a little bit more. <coughs> Go. Did that hit your glove? Why? Did it come off your stick first or no? I mean, that's a pad safe stick save. You don't need to put your glove down there. You want to control that with your, those lower ports, lower position, lower pads and stuff. Watch, watch making glove saves on everything. That was probably the best stance you've given so far. I don't know if you feel the difference because it's really you know, an inch or two, but it, it's, it's important to be in that stance because you're moving well in it. Go. That's too like that. You feel the difference or no, not really? Yeah, but that's all you really need. I'll tell you something else though before you do the next shot. Are you making glove saves with a stick and pad save? No, you're making pad six saves because they're pad six saves. So you're balanced enough and you're in transition enough and, and a stance enough to make the correct save selection as opposed to using your glove on it. Ready, go. I think you look way better now than you did the first part of practice. Come on, one more. Go. Down low. Pucks, pucks down low. Yeah, those pucks down low. Yep. Pass it all the way out here on me. I don't care about how you set up to him or how you set up to me. I want to see your movement to the shot. That's why it's the center. Ready? Good enough 
same where it blocked and it went behind the shooter. So you're able to regroup the D and you're able to regroup, which is fine. No problem. You can see a little improvement in the game. It's the same. I'll take it. The brackets are a little different. Go. You're all right. Okay. Move this back a little bit. Let's go. Box, box. time to wind up so he's just getting a quick shot so it's going to be a quick release quick on you so there's no reason for you to come off the post and try to cheat out anymore you already have the angle you're already pushing off the post you're in front of it you got to stay set okay because all this is timing go
So now you're going to go opposite direction. Puck, post, me. Puck, post, him. Okay? Go. Not set. You got lucky because you're big. Sticks off. Your pads aren't in front of the puck, knee with your chest. You want to get my side of the knee. So again, think about this. So when you come off a far side shot or a far side push from short side to far side, there's no reason you're going to be where you are right now. None. You're going to be able to come off a little bit, but I want to see everything line up to the shot. Does that make sense? Yeah. Go. Ready? Go. Go. 